Hi, guess what I'm doing in the kitchen today? No, I'm not cooking. Remember, I said I would show you a video about how to make the sea moss gel. Well, that's what I'm gonna do now. So this is the fine gold moss, and I'm just gonna show you how to turn it into gel. I'm just cutting the bag open here. Release my sea moss from its plastic bag prison. And basically, wash it like there is no tomorrow. Because it comes out of the sea, it has all kinds of silt and sand and sea debris in it. This pan just allow the salt and all of this stuff to just wash out easier. That's why I use this with the holes in it. Now that I'm satisfied with the wash, I'm just going to put it into a pan to soak it so it can rehydrate because it was dried before shipping. And I'm going to squeeze half of one line in that water because I don't really like the fishy smell or taste that it usually comes with. There's half of a line in there. That should be enough water. Now the moss finish soaking. I'm just going to pour this off. Just rinsing it off again and it doesn't feel as dry now it feels moist it doesn't swell up or get slimy like the large sea moss does but i can feel that it's hydrated it's not as brittle as it was before it feels a slight bit slimy like you could almost wring it out and get the gel just like that so i'm just gonna put it in and I put all of that in the blender. I'm just adding a tiny bit of water to it. The water to about there. Because the secret about the fine moss is that you cannot put too much water in it to blend it. Or it won't gel properly. Just push that down so the blender can catch it because it kind of whisked out what was at the bottom. it a little more liquid so I'll just add some more of this water and this is not hot water it's just water that was boiled in the kettle and it has cooled after five minutes of blending that's what it looks like I'll just pour it into my jar Just put that somewhere to set and then tomorrow I'll show you what it looks like so just like that my sea moss gel is done and as you can see it wasn't very hard the most important thing to remember is not to put too much water in the blender when you're gonna start blending the Irish moss 
because if you do it will not gel and if it seems like it's too hard when you're blending like it won't turn over then you can add a little bit more water to it like you remember when I was jabbing it down with a wooden spoon yes I added a little bit more water and it still was a little hard so I put a little more water I used the cap of my blender to just put a little bit more water on it until it turned over appropriately and then you'll get this nice creamy substance so all I'm gonna do now is put this in my refrigerator and it will set and I'll be able to take it out by the spoonful whenever I want to use it in a smoothie or whatever and I'll enjoy it I'm sure so don't forget if you like the video click the thumbs up below and share it with your friends and also I don't know if you remember but this Irish moss I got it from Bulky Foods JA so I'll put the link in the comment section below so you can click on the link check out their products and probably buy some Irish moss or hmm, some bladder rack powder or something because I have bladder rack powder coming to go with this Irish moss gel because this supplies 92 of the 102 minerals that our body needs daily and the bladder wrap combined with this will give me the total 102. So anyway, thank you for watching. Bye. Now this is a moss after it's been sitting in the refrigerator overnight.